popular in the uh, uh, the Battle of Great Britain. But somehow or another, got, got vectored and is now being vectored to intercept the PT-19. Followed by a Japanese Zero. This is quite a diverse uh, attacking force. And there's the PT-19 with Suka hot in trail. Oh, this is trouble for the PT-19. These are heavily, heavily armed aircraft. Suka right in, right on behind. Oh, she was. If you could see the traces now, it would not be pretty. Followed by the Jap Zero. This PT-19, uh oh, there's a trail of smoke coming out of the PT-19. Could his engine have been damaged? We don't know. This is an ME-109, one of the premium German intercept fighter aircraft. Now we've really got trouble. Really got trouble for this PT-19. Smoke trailer from the PT-19. And the Falk Wolf is coming up. Any 190 is just just looking for looking for a kill here today. Okay folks, we're gonna see some low passes. There goes the PT-19. The ME 109 is ME 109 low pass. Now going there for the PT-19. German, the Jap Zero, oh no. Let's hit the deck, folks, if we get on the tweets as I suggest you do it now. We're still doing a dive bomb run. That's what it was known for. All right, now the Allied aircraft have now been scrambled. They're now going to join the fight. Up first is the Bearcats. Very successful fighter aircraft earlier in the war. Followed by a P-47, popular known as the Jug. Pilots like the Jug are highly armored. Highly armored to take a lot of abuse. And turbocharged. It maintained its horsepower up to 30,000 feet. Very, very effective aircraft. More P-47 produced than more than any other aircraft. Now things are going to get you to Jack Zero. Coming around, low pass, followed by the Bearcat. The Bearcat is hot to do. The Suka drops another bomb on the enemy line. This is getting more and more exciting by the minute. What I see right now is an F-4 Corsair. It's now, uh, it's now scrambling to join the thing. Here's our ME-109 doing a low pass. Another Bearcat on the roll. Now with the Corsair, I think they can tip in favor of the Allies. I suspect that the Axis Force is going to be forced on the side. And we'll have air dominance. The Silk are pulling a fast line out. Looking, looking for some sort of action with that uh, Bearcat. And here goes the F4 Corsair. Look at this, he is on the ground, look at that. I don't know if we can still see a lot of daylight under that one. On comes the Bearcat, it's hard to keep track of this now. Imagine a pilot, a pilot in the middle of this kind of fracas during the war. And we're sitting here watching the, the big picture. This guy is looking out the front of the Bearcat. You can't really see behind him. And there's just stuff on all around. That'd be pretty terrifying. There goes the bear cat. The super making a look like what looks like a victory run. A victory uh, wing lag there. We hope, we hope that uh, that the Stuka will not prevail. Up high above the Stuka is a commonly known as the B1RD. He's flying westbound now, high above the action. Japanese Zero is out of the sky, that means the Allies are one up now. They're heading for a great dominance at this point. Okay, coming on to the runway now is another F4 Corsair. And I thought I saw a B-25. That B-25, when they scramble those, that means we're ready to bomb. That means we've got 
we've got superior aircraft coverage to escort the B-25. The Allies have definitely out outnumbered the Axis aircraft on the field. Here goes another Corsair up into the air. The Stuka are avoiding the F-4 Corsair. And here comes the back on uh, Bearcat, wrapping it around for a low pass. And he's going to cover that B-25 on the takeoff roll right now. The bomber now means that the, the Allied towers are now on the offensive. They're going to be heading into conflict. I believe we have the access power gone away. Our parents looked through this, and they had sat in front of their radios. Big hands for Armin Weber and the PT-19 as the Corcraft survived this whole thing to the Took some brave guys to go out there unarmed. And uh, it's with this, it's in their observations that got this whole thing started.